my god. Not that god. I couldn't sleep last night. It was terrible. At least for me. This guy was sleeping on the drive here, so he was alright. Yeah, I was crashed out, but I had a bit of a breeze. Yeah, but me, man, it was too hot last night. I tried turning on the, the bus and the AC and idling. Well, I guess what also doesn't work today? The air conditioning. Yeah, sucks, right? Um, also, we're stuck. And uh, <clears throat> if you saw yesterday's video, you'll realize that I did mention this, but I didn't want to make it really bad. So once I f felt the vehicle getting stuck, I, I just I just quit. So anyways, there's a nice guy that we um, met out here. He lives over here. He offered to give us a tow, but I'm not really sure if that's going to work. You see this? You know what that is? Well, if you guessed it's a piece of wood, you guessed wrong. This is going to get us out of this stuck position. Just watch out. We got the piece of wood. I'm going to try and drive on top of the wood, and uh, Jake is going to push. You'll see. All right, we did it. We're unstuck. And this is what I'm talking about. If I would have kept uh, trying to plow through, that's really soft stuff. So, uh, dude, thanks for your help, the, for the assist. Now I can uh, breathe a sigh of relief. Well, it's hot out here. Uh, laptop is on fire. So I got this uh, to cool it down. Uh, by the way, we've just been editing next to this killer view. And uh, I gotta say, I've, I've definitely had worse places to edit before. This is a great place to hang out. I'm just really glad that we got out of the sand earlier. So, um, oh, this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. Uh, good old soup, and I'm gonna eat it just like this. Just gonna eat it nice and cold. Mmm, look at those lentils. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Cheers. Another amazing find uh, in the Salton, well, I should say in Slab City, is uh, Horn Feather is a person you'll meet in a second, but he's making all this jewelry all himself and really with, with some amazing, amazing things here. Um, all kinds of rocks, and he takes these buffalo horns and turns them into uh, feathers carved. So, this is. This is Horn Feather, everybody. Hi. Quite an interesting person, and he's going to teach us how to make something today. I'm going to teach you how to make these rings. You know, it's uh, now these are bead rings. You know, um, they look a little complicated. They're wire wrapped, right? Mm. Um, but truly, very, very simple to make. Um, here, let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to need. Uh, let's see. I just use so it's easy to see this bright blue turquoise bead, right? Okay. Now, I'm gonna take a piece of wire about this long. What I'm using is uh, silver covered copper, it's just copper. All the wire I use is copper. Very inexpensive because after all, I'm not wrapping a diamond here, right? <laughs> okay, so, That's true. you know, and, and I'm gonna sell this thing for five bucks and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna find the middle of it like this and I'm gonna bend this wire down yeah. and then I'm gonna turn the pliers sideways and bend it back out. You see what I just did there? And a little kink. A little bit, yeah, like a little Z in it, right? Yeah. yeah. Like a Zorro. Just, just like that, just like Zorro, right? This, this is like a magic act, a magic trick. Okay, um, now I'm gonna hold it upside down. I'm gonna bend this side over. Get what I'm doing here? Is I am basically capturing the stone in one spot, right? Right. And just like that. Oh yeah, interesting. So, you, okay. so you, you held it in place there. Right. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna take one of these. You can pick these up at like Joanna's or Michael's for you know, 10 bucks or something like that, and you've got it forever, you know, I never have to buy it again. You need a pair of pliers and a wire and a bag of beads, right? <laughs> um, what's this called? Th this is called a mandrel. Okay. And it's a plastic one. They make them in, st uh, they make them in steel for uh, doing sterling silver and stuff like that, but this is for doing wire wraps and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, I'm gonna look at your finger. All right, there we go, I got you. And I'm gonna start right about here, and I'm gonna go around it one time, and then around the beads, see? Oh. Around it. And then around the bead. Oh my God, I have a ring. You guys have a ring. Wow. Huh, whoa, <laughs> this is magic, right? Yeah, look at this. 
Now I'm going to take this wire right here. I'm going to bend it through the hole. They say this design is the most cleanest design most people have seen. See, I'm wrapping it around three times. See why I'm bending that metal? Mm. Bend it right there where it needs to bend. You know, right there. Right there where it needs to bend. Nice you know? and tight, right? Yeah, you want to get it nice and tight. And one right next to the other. Don't overlap them, you know, because you want it to look neat and clean, right? Yeah. But, yeah. you know, it really doesn't matter, you know. I found that the, the, the um, mess, more messed up a piece is, the more they seem to like it. Yeah. You know, if it's handmade, right? Yeah. More character. Yeah, they, it gives it character and they and they like it better, right? So, there we go. I've gone three times around on both sides. I usually leave this wire a little bigger. I kind of messed up, you know, but mm. it's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to cut the other one to the same size, right? And then I'm just going to take the end of that wire and I'm going to bend it in half. Squeeze it together, see, nice and tight. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to roll it once and then bend it right back up on top like that Sweet. for a finish. Nice. So that's so it doesn't poke you and it has also an artistic yeah, it, look. Yeah, it gives it the finish with, uh, with a little taste of, uh, of uh, well, I call it a rosette. And the reason I call it a rosette is because it sounds like it's worth more. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I usually use that as a, as a test in my with my students, you know, I'll, I'll be making one and we call this a rosette and I'll tell you why and I tell them it's good and at the end of the thing and I go, so ha, why do we call it a rosette? And they go, because it looks like a rose. I go, no, you weren't listening. <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. Okay, so. So now we go. We got a nine. Tight. Now, if you need to, sometimes they're a little crooked. You just kind of bend it. Mm. You know, it is wire. Tighten it up. Bam. I looked at that finger right there. Here, go ahead and try it. I'm not going to put it on. We're not getting married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got close. I, got, I, I didn't quite get there, did it? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. And that was just by looking at the finger. See, it's like playing baseball or hacky sack. You throw your foot out there. You know, I looked at his finger, then I went straight to this. And it's something your brain does, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you allow it. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. That's well, awesome. thank you so much for you're teaching very, us how to do welcome. this. Yeah. And uh, I love what you're doing. I love that you're teaching people how to fish instead of giving them a fish. Well, so. you know, and I've given a few fish away too, but you know, it's like, like I said, if I get somebody that's kind of destitute, you know, and, and I'll have them make three or four pieces, mm -hmm. and then I'll just send them off with them. Yeah. You know? you know, yeah I'm not going to yeah. keep them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they made them themselves, and then if they can get one sold or two sold, then they might just go it's ahead and keep making them, you know. Yep. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're going, wow, I can do this, and, uh, and it really helps. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, where can people find you if they want uh, a custom piece? Ha 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 ha! <laughs> all I gotta say about that, you know, catch me where you can. You know, let's see. This year, this year up to date, I was in. Uh, let's say I started in uh, uh, Open Arizona, and then I went to San Diego. Then I went back to Open Arizona, and then I went to uh, Bisbee, Arizona, Tombstone, Silver City. Um, then I went down to the Pod Island in Texas. Yeah. And uh, spent a couple of weeks down there, you know, just checking them out. I, I heard it was 65 miles of, of uh, undisturbed coastline that you can camp on for free for up to 51 days. 51, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, and then, yeah, then there's, there's the North Island where you can pay $12.50 and you can camp for like three days here, three days here, three days here, three days here. And then start over again. So you can pretty pretty much stay on the beach down there for nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. I like it. And how, yeah. how long have you been on the road as a nomad? Well, about 15 years now. That's when my yeah. hip and shoulders went bad since then. I've had my hip replaced. Yeah. Mm. You know, more better. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, I like it. You have it all figured out. You own your own business. You yeah, travel full time. Nobody's got it all figured out. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's uh, it's still. I don't care what you do. It's a hand to mouth operation. You know. Sometimes I'm way up. And sometimes I'm way down, you yeah. know. Yeah. It's uh, just the way it is, you know. Yeah. Well, you have a lot of knowledge uh, that you could share with the young people who want to live and travel in a van, that's for sure. Well, yeah, you know, it's like I said, a uh, pair of pliers, a roll of wire. You can buy this, this leather for $7.50 at Joanna's or Michael's. It comes in a big bag. Mm. You get about 100 bracelets out of it, right? Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, so it's all, you know. One of these um, little rings, you know, pretty much cost you about 17 cents. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And you, uh, and you can sell it for $5, you know. Mm. Actually, the very first ring I made, um, I got 20 for it. Great. Wow. You know? It's when I when I travel, um, I like to buy handmade things from the place I'm in, 
because everything these days is made in China. Everything's factory made. Everything's, you know. Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you, I work like a Chinaman, and I admire them people for their work ethic. <laughs> <laughs> right? But you I'm know just what I mean. I'm gonna say that, you know. Yeah. It's, um, you know, if more Americans would think like that, you know, start using their hands again. You know, I'm serious about that. You know, we're all doing this with our thumbs, you know. I was sitting on my brother's couch the other day. My nieces and nephews and a couple of their friends are there. And they're all going like this. And I said, so who are you talking to? And they all went like that. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking to each other. But they didn't want anybody else in the room to hear, so, oh. you know. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, you know, what's this world coming to? Yeah. There you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. But, yeah, I, I, I love it. I, I love picking up. Uh, unique one-of-a-kind pieces and I think a lot of young people like to do that uh, yeah you know these days as well so well, you know every time I, I do this it takes off in a new direction mm -hmm. you know um, each person comes up with their own style come up with their own ideas you know mm -hmm. and I learn from them too so yeah you know, yeah you know stuff I would have never thought of yeah you know it's like one day I hand this guy uh, a piece of bone you know he wants to carve his first blank right and instead he comes back with a, a cut of a, of a bird Wow. And then carves that fucking thing, and I'm going, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And so now I know how to do those. You yeah. Know? yeah. yeah. And, and, and will you show us uh, the horn feathers? Oh, yeah. Do you have one? Yeah. yeah I, <laughs> I mean, this is what you are named after. after yeah, all. exactly. Well, here, let's, uh, let's have a little fun with it. I'm kind of give you a tour of what I'm actually doing. All right. Right now. And I just stop here to, uh, to make stuff, right? This is a... Uh, the inventory I have left after San Diego. I got a pretty good inventory. There's a little leather bracelets and hand carved. I, I carved them all with a file, triangle file, right? And this is what I'm working on now. These are buffalo horn bracelets, right? I just want to show you that uh, it's important to work hard. There's no two, no two, the same. And these are made out of uh, buffalo horns. This is a buffalo's horn, yes. Yeah. And then you hand carve these in uh, into feathers, right? Well, I hope that's what they look like. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're calling me the wrong thing. Maybe it should be leaf feather. I mean, leaf, leaf horn or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but I think they look like feathers, you know. I think so too. And then some of them are bracelets, or, or most of them well, are that's bracelets. What these, that... these will all be bracelets, right? Mm -hmm. But then I make, you know, pipes, mm -hmm. right? Um, so let's see. I got two of these of each kind and these will be pairs of earrings. Beautiful. These are the tips of a deer antler, right? And then, uh, oh, let's see. I take the uh, deer antler buttons, right? And I grind them out in here and sculpt them a little bit and then I inlay turquoise. Wow. You know, um, I don't know stuff. <laughs> you know? I like it, it's it's great stuff. Here's one, this, this feather was on my cane wow. for uh, nine years. Wow. I just cut the cane up. It was caribou, choya cactus, and uh, um, it had that shark jaw and the fish head on it. It was my walking stick. Oh, fun. Right? And uh, I just cut it up because I'm going to use the caribou. Um, and this horn over here, I'll have buffalo horn, I'll have caribou, I'll have, uh, this is a piece I got in New Mexico about six years ago. I use it sparingly. It's Cape Water Buffalo, hmm. you know, horn, right? That's from the Cape Water Buffalo. This is a chunk of bighorn sheep. Wow. wow. So I'm going to have feathers of, you know, many different kinds of uh, of the animals, you know. All junk that you find laying on the ground and stuff or in somebody's yard or, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, you can go to stores and buy it, you know, but I get a lot of mine in trade. That's what those kids were doing here. They were trying to get me to buy that uh, one piece of bullhorn for, mm. for like 20 bucks or something, you know. Yeah. And I, I buy them for $6 a piece. And if I buy a hundred, I'm gonna get it for three. Wow! You know, so I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna buy one for twenty. And I'm trying to explain to them that, you know, hey, I can show you how to make some money with that. Right. You know. <laughs> and they said they might be back. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing, dude. But, thank you yeah. so much for sharing yeah. your life and, and what you do with with both of us and people who are watching. Right. Right. <laughs>